Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Lichan with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your December 2016 General and Love Oracle Guidance Reading for those born under the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I am a new channel so please check back often for new monthly and weekly videos. I will also be doing an overview of the year 2017 for each sign, so please check back for that as well. If you find these messages helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Because this reading is general and the messages are for millions of Virgos, they may or may not resonate with you. If they do, wonderful, and if not, please check the videos for your moon and rising signs as those videos may have the messages for you. And if they do resonate, check the videos for these signs anyway. Some people check the Venus sign. And if you're born on a cuss, make sure to check the signs for both of the signs on that cuss. If you would like additional, more personalized information specific to your situation, you can book a private reading with me through Skype or phone. I can make a pre-recorded video for you and email. Please check the description box below for additional services that I provide, as well as how to get in contact with me. And also, I will be doing a drawing from now until December 18th, where one lucky person will win a free 2017 yearly reading with me, Lachan, and two others will win a wonderful prize as well. All the details are in the description box below, so please view that when you are finished watching this video. And also, this is my first time putting videos up on YouTube, so I have not mastered that art yet. I intend on having actual videos up by January 2017. Okay, thank you for listening, and now let's begin, Virgos. So, I have pre-shuffled the cards for you, and the cards that I have selected are, on the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, we have Launching Your Journey. In the you now position, emerging into grace, the energy coming in, breaking barriers, the energy going out, rising above. And these are very wonderful cards to go together. Launching your journey. So launching your journey says that in the month of December, you're going to be going off on a new path. There's going to be a new start, a new beginning in some area of your life. And I'm feeling that you know what area this is already because there have been some barriers broken leading up until this situation, this, this um, area of your life in December. So there have been some barriers that have been broken. So there's been something that you've been experiencing. You had some difficulties, some struggles, maybe felt even stagnant in somewhere. Um, breaking barriers has to do with moving past self-imposed limitations. So there's somewhere that you were limited in your life coming up to December and Virgo, beautiful Virgo, you broke through that. You have, you broke through that barrier and you got through that issue. And the message on this card says, I'm an, ex I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. So you've broken past this barrier, this limitation that you had for some period of time. And this, again, this is a general reading, so this is in any area of your life. It can be career, it can be uh, relationships, it can be hobbies, friends, it can be um, family, any, in, any, in any situation in your life, um, in, inside also. So you've broken past this barrier, you've moved forward, and now you're in the month of December, you will be emerging into grace. The message on this card, emerging into grace, says, I open my soul to grace. So you are starting off on this new journey. You're going off on this new path. This can also mean travel. For, so for some of you, there will be some traveling involved. Um, but you are launching your journey and you are emerging into grace as you are starting this new path. So whatever situation that you have been dealing with in the past, Virgo, that you have recently are getting over. Now in the month of December, 
you will start emerging into grace and reforming into this beautiful new self. This area of your life is going to be evolving and it's going to be emerging, emerging, and you're going to feel more grounded and you're going to feel yourself moving forward internally. And the card that follows emerging into grace is so beautiful because the card is rising above. And it says here on the bottom of the card, I see only beauty and grace. So you're rising above. You have emerged into grace and now you are only seeing beauty and grace. So you are rising above. So you've broken the barriers and now you've emerged. You've cultivated this beautiful new energy. You've, you've reformed yourself. You reformed this area of your life and now you're rising above somewhere new and you're going in a beautiful new direction, dear Virgo. And the card, the, the picture on this card is a woman and she's coming out of a lotus and i just noticed something very very interesting on the card emerging into grace there is a woman and she's laying next to a murky looking river it's murky very murky dirt dark waters which to me can represent a muddled muddled mind muddled emotions and she's next to she's above this murky water actually laying on on land and in this murky water there is a lotus flower and a lotus flower is known for being a flower that can emerge beauty bring beauty out of a gutter lotus flowers can grow out of swamps they can grow out of gutters they bring beauty out of swamps beauty out of murkiness out of murky emotions out of barriers say that the that the swamp is a barrier and this beautiful lotus flower which is you virgo this beautiful lotus flower comes up out of this murky water and then in the next card rising above it's the same lotus flower but this time there is a woman who looks like Virgo in her appearance with the straight light hair and the fair complexion and she's coming out of that lotus flower with her hands up to the sky and there's a sun behind her and she's saying I only see beauty and grace so dear Virgos whatever situation you had that you were struggling with you have emerged into grace and you have risen above and you are free you in the month of December you will be free of this situation and you will be able to launch your journey off into a new direction and you are going to move forward in the month of December which is so beautiful going into the new year because this is the energy that you're bringing with you into the new year and that is such a special gift especially after breaking barriers congratulations for that dear virgo if you're struggling with any of these energies questions to ask yourself Launching your journey. In what ways am I keeping myself from launching my journey? In what ways am I keeping myself stuck? In what ways am I refusing to move forward? In what ways will I like to move forward? The message on this card says, I am sailing forth into the universe. If I were to sail forth into the universe, what is it that I want to go after? What is it that I really want? Breaking barriers. Are there any barriers that I need to break? Is there anything that I need to let go of? Are there any limitations that I need to move forward from? Emerging into grace. How can I bring more grace into my life? Is there anything I need to let go of in order to bring more grace into my life? What does grace, being graceful look like? And I feel as though graceful sounds like a feminine word, but this can be for males as well. Graceful. How, how, can I, how can I bring more grace into my life? And rising above. Rising above is just such a beautiful card to have here. Questions to ask yourself. 
Are there any ways that I'm keeping myself from rising above? How can I rise above? How can I move past these limitations? In these videos, I keep having journaling coming up. Um, journaling, rising above. If I were to rise above and become and emerge into my best self, what's, what would that look like? Which self would that look like? How would I look? In this situation, and that may be something that you may want to write down and get a clear picture of. If you do like to journal. Overall, that is a fantastic energy and that is very, very wonderful, Virgo. Congratulations for that. Those are all the messages that I'm getting for that. Okay. So now, let me pull out cards for the love reading. So Virgos, I pulled out three cards for the singles, three cards for the couples. I take the card for the bottom of the deck as an overall energy and whatever cards come out on their own. And when I was shuffling the cards for the singles, one card, ju one card jumped, one card slowly slid out. So I put these cards together with the card at the bottom of the deck because I feel like they actually went together. So I'm going to start with these cards. So... Love reading for the single Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. The card that first jumped out says, it reads sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. The card that slid out sacred union and all three of these cards i put together because they're all major energy cards so we have sexual union major energy card sacred union major energy card honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred and another major energy card that says only time will tell and the three cards i pulled are don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Look inside yourself. Major energy. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So, I just got a message to take these separately. And of course, they may be, of course, there are likely going to be correlations for many of you because these are for singles. But I just got to take these separately, as in two groups of three. And I'm going to take these in two groups of people. So, the first group of people, I'm going to speak to you who have recently met someone however you are not in a relationship with that person yet or you do not consider yourself to be in a relationship with that person yet this is the first group of you i'm going to speak to so the cards that i have here for you are sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred and only time will tell so it looks like a large part of you um, a large many of you you have found someone recently and there is a sexual there is sexual chemistry with this person there is genuine chemistry with this person and you may be in a situation where you're not sure how this is going to play out and the message here, I feel like this is a very, very um, succinct. I don't know if that's quite the word, but, you know, it's a very straightforward message. And it's saying only time will tell. So if you've just recently met somebody and you have good chemistry with this person, good sexual chemistry with this person, you get along, you enjoy each other's company. But this is in a very, very new stage. 
This card is saying only time will tell. And the beautiful thing about this is, of course, it is right. And when I'm getting through these messages and when I'm getting through these cards, through, through these messages is. It's OK to be nervous at this time if you're getting to know somebody new. It's OK to be nervous. It's OK to not know how it's going to play out. However, only time will tell how this situation is going to play out. So enjoy it in the meantime. Just enjoy the situation, enjoy how it plays out, and just allow it to unfold as it will. Because we have no control over these types of situations. And actually, seeing how things unfold is half the fun. Or a lot of the fun. So, just allow the situation to happen, let it unfold as it will. Enjoy the sexual union. Enjoy the sacred union. Every person you come in contact with has something to teach us in one way or another. So enjoy the situation, enjoy, learn about yourself in the situation, learn about the other person, have a good time, enjoy lighthearted fun with this person and just allow things to unfold because only time will tell what will really happen. However, it's not about the long term. It's about right now, every day, right now. The only time we have is right now is the present. The past is an illusion and the present and the future is they are both illusions. The past and the future are both illusions. The only time we have is right now. So enjoy this time with this person and just let things unfold and enjoy that beauty because these are all major energy cards showing that this is going to be a very positive time and this is a time for you to enjoy and enjoy these things unfolding. The next message I have for those singles is don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself you can be true to others. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So from these two cards, what I'm taking from this is that because this look inside yourself is a major energy card, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So if there's any kind of turmoil that you're having uh, in regard to the type of relationship that you want to be in, the type of relationship that you think you should be in, if you're having any kind of difficulties, any kind of mental struggles with that, any kind of confusions with that, don't make your decisions based on those feelings. Be true to yourself and what you want out of love and what you want out of a relationship and what you want out of a person and what you want your life to look like. Be honest with yourself about what that really is. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. So there's a message coming through and I'm trying to pick it up. Excuse me. So if there's something that you want in a relationship, go for what that is that something is that you want i'm trying to pull this message is what it is that you want and i'm saying this because if you're going for someone not for the right reasons then you're not going to be happy and if you're going for someone for reasons that are that matter to someone else then you're not going to be happy. So when choosing a partner, when choosing a romantic, a, a, a significant other, a romantic partner, be your authentic self. Project your what you really want into a relationship out there and go for that type of person that you really want to be with. Be authentic. That's there. There it is. That's the message that I'm getting. Be authentic. Be authentic in what you want in your relationships, in what you want 
out of your significant other because because this is your life dear virgo this is your life so be authentic with what you want Be wherever you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are your own reflection. So imagine if you're going for someone for the wrong reasons. And it turns out that you don't really like this person. Well, of course, that's what's going to happen because you went for this person for the wrong reasons. You went for this person for reasons that were authentic to you. So choose your partners, choose your relationships authentically. Okay, that is a message that I got for another group of you, Virgos. Okay, so now for the couples. So, the card on the bottom of the deck, representing the overall energy, reads, Power, you instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, We must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the great healer. Okay, let me me take this in. So, let's see. Okay. Acceptance. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So it looks like for some of you who are in couples who are already involved, there is a situation. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to take all this in. Okay, so for a number of you that have been going through some difficulties, and with these, I don't, I don't feel as though they're large difficulties with your significant other, maybe trivial day-to-day difficulties with the significant other. Um, and if you're going through any kind of, any kind of um, you know, little difficulties, I'm getting a message here of, like maybe lightening up on your partner or just not struggling with them as much I'm not sure if it's coming through in here but that's just a message that I came that just came through um so if you're having any kind of difficulties Okay, another message that I just came through here is, okay, playfulness. So if there are any kind of tit-for-tat things that go on on a daily basis or any kind of difficulties that go on on a daily basis, you do love your partner. So there could be a different approach to the situation, a different approach to getting to each other. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. You know that you love your significant other. You know a different way to answer. You may know that the way that handling things, the way things are going on aren't the the best for the relationship. And you know that there's another way. You know that this isn't the way to go. So do what feels right. You love your partner. Do what brings more love to you and what brings more love together. As opposed to creating separateness, 
one thing, one large part about that is accepting your partner, accepting the situation, accepting both points of view. If there are any frustrations, you know, their, their point of view, why they may feel frustrated. Accept things that they are. And we can also, we also cannot control our partners. And if there's something that you're going back and forth about and, and coming head to head about, you have to understand, Virgo, that there's no controlling our partners. We cannot control our partners. It's not possible. We cannot control what they do. So we must just accept them for who they are and accept them how they are. And that may be something that you already know deep in your heart. And here we have on the bottom of the deck power. You instinctively know what is right for you. You have the power to say no or walk away at any time. So if you're having these difficulties, you know you have the power to say, you know what, I love my partner. I'm not going to keep myself involved in this kind of situation. I'm not going to keep... Um, bringing up this type of energy. I'm not going to allow this to keep happening and bring us for and push us further further away from each other. You have the power to say no or to walk away from that at any time. And another tool, we have here the two major energy cards here. Power was on the bottom of the deck and then the last card we have here is playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Playfulness. So you do have the power, you have the power in this situation to say, you know what, I love my partner and I want to be with my partner and I don't want to have this kind of energy in our lives, in our homes, in our families, between us, whether you live together or not. And A way to bring that in is playfulness. Be playful with each other. Be lighthearted with each other. You love each other. Laugh with each other. Figure out a way to be playful. Maybe go out and do playful things with each other. Maybe do playful things around the house. Maybe get things done in a playful way. Just incorporate playfulness and laughter into the situation. Incorporate playfulness and laughter into your relationship on a day-to-day basis to bring you guys closer together and to get over any kind of little tip for tad daily things that may be going on. So I'm just going to read the cards through one more time for the couples all the way through. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You can say no, walk away from the from whatever issues at any time. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Major energy of playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Those are the messages that I have for you, dear Virgos. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to seeing you again. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.